Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan and I am here with a plan with me for the week of August 6th through August the 12th. All right. So just a refresher of last month, last week, we have, this was our meal plan. And it says that my estimated cost was $100, but I ended up spending $113.78. So $13.78 over my budget. All right, so as I am on operation, use what I have, I found another way to repurpose my planner. So in this household, is it called household? Let's just make sure, because you guys know sometimes I just be making up some names. <laughs> it's called the home planner. So inside of this home planner extension, there was this to-do list. And as you can see, I have all these pages that I just really haven't used. So I decided that today I, I want to use one of these. Oh, I don't know if I want to do green, but does it really matter? Thought there was a coral in here. Okay, here's the coral. And that's kind of what I want to use. Now yeah, let's use this green. Now the reason why I want to use the green is because I have a watermelon theme. Because today is Friday, August the 3rd, and it's National Watermelon Day. So you know what, I figured I had some watermelon washi laying around and why not start with it? So let's see how we can get this laid out and how it turns out. Hmm. So I've already counted about 24 lines on the pages. So we just need to go down to line six pretty much. So this week is going to be a little unique because I have one other person, my bonus baby, bonus son Marley, will be here this week. Uh, my husband is picking him up this evening after work. And um, so he has, when he comes, he there are certain things that he loves to eat. So I'm going to uh, make this meal prep kid friendly. So there are certain things that he likes. So one of the things he loves spaghetti. So I'm going to make him spaghetti with meatballs because he loves spaghetti with meatballs. He has requested Taco Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I haven't decided if I'm meal prepping these tacos on Tuesday or am I simply going to just cook some tacos on Tuesday. I'll probably simply just cook some tacos on Tuesday, honestly. So this is a set that um, I believe I got from Recollections. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I think this will be quite cute when we're done. All right, so we're gonna cover this to do up. So for sticker books this week, I grabbed, um, of course, Happy Planner food sticker book and also the, the Agenda 52 um, food sticker book. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna cover up this to do and with one of these watermelon. Let's see. Or am I going to need to white it out? I'm going to need to white it out. So I'm going to grab my little Tombow here. I don't mind that the background is white. I just don't want it to say to do. Okay. Alrighty. I think a lot. 
going to turn it that way because I can't see it over the green. So we're going to put some of these watermelons straight down. All right, one thing I like about this way is that we definitely have somewhere to put the date. So I'm grabbing out, I think I'm doing all the dates in green. And since they're, this is a good time to stamp date. So this is our dates and stamps um, from the Happy Planner. And since it is like, we're in single digits until certain pieces of next week, but that's okay. And we're gonna put the dates right here in this corner, right here. Remember them? Okay. I'm not mad. I'm just cleaning up as we go. That's the easiest, for me, that's the easiest way to, to date. So, because we have an extra mouth to feed this week, um, I'm going to leave my budget where I don't want it to be. I think I, buy, I better make it $125. Um, and I am grabbing Paper Mate Flares to work with this week. And I'm also grabbing black. Okay. So, I'm going to flip through the... Agenda 52 food sticker book just to see perhaps if there are any watermelon stickers. I see some that can work. I like this uh, hashtag food is life or hashtag all the food. Let's put this hashtag all the food here. Let's put that down here. Okay. Now Right here, we're gonna put our we're gonna put our dates. All right, and then I think that it would be important to also include here what the projected. Um, what the projected amount would be for the budget. So I'm going to say, I said $115, so we'll do $115. And we'll just put Axel right here. All right. So if I could get consistent with my stamping, I enjoy stamping, I would do it more often. You know, I really would. Alrighty. So here we go. Let's fill in this very simple yet tasty uh, meal. On Monday, we are having spaghetti and meatballs. Okay, so we are going to grab our lovely Create 365 food sticker book, and there is spaghetti in here. There's taco too. All right. Okay. See these 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 squeezes are something special. So that's our spaghetti and meatballs, and then if we flip the page one back, we have Taco Tuesday, so we can definitely put a taco. Probably put a taco and a guac and a uh, guacamole and an avocado there. Yes. All right. So that like that. Our taco Tuesday. All right. On Wednesday, we are going to have leftovers. So you know I love. This leftovers, this little microwave. 
that's on here. So we're going to use that in green. Because we're going to do meal prep and leftover. And I haven't used this in several weeks. If you know meal prep is the same couple of meals over and over all week. And we're going to bring it all the way over here. We're going to make sure we get a nice firm impression. Beautiful. Clean, clean, clean it up. Clean, clean, clean it up. Yes. And then I'm going to put spaghetti and meatballs. So we know what leftovers we're having. All right. I know that he wants um, his dad to cook some hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill. So let's see if I can find a hamburger in, oh, I found a juicy cheeseburger for Sunday. And let's get some fries. Some fries, I seen a fry, you know, I think I have a fry stamp. Oh no, that's right here. We haven't used it yet. So we're going to go ahead and break out the stamp. Unless we have. Hold on before I break out the stamp because I want to use some stickers too. Give it another perspective. Okay. Kill them. We're going to use these uh, french fries on here. Since this is some, not something. His dad and I would frequently um, even eat or want to eat. But, you know, anything for the kids. Remember, Marty Mar loved the kids. Miranda Rand loved the kids. So anything for the kids. All right. So I surmise that on Friday since we're eating out on Friday, which may be pizza, since he loves pizza. But I'm going to put, instead of putting a pepperoni pizza, I'm going to put this juicy piece of pizza right here for Friday. Now, for he also wants, he's such a weird little kid, he also wants salad. So I think I'm going to do a taco salad on um, on Thursday. And what we're going to do for the taco salad is we're going to put a taco down and a salad. Because this book has a cute, cute, cute salad. And we're going to get this garden salad with the strawberries, which is fun. I've never used one of those before. We're going to put that there. And we're going to put a taco there. I don't think we need to put a taco. We'll just put a salad. And... I think on Saturday, I will feed him, let's see, a nice sandwich and some chips. That'll be nice. And this says all that in a bag of chips. So we're going to put this. And then on the side of this, I'm going to write, sandwich all right that is cute I just want to all right I have a recollection stamp that and I might have put it back up I think I did no I did not let's close this and it has like, this looks like a watermelon. This looks like something we can use as a watermelon. And what I would like to do, and I don't even know if it's something I could do, but I want to try it to see if I can get part of it to be green and part of it to be red. And if not, it'd be a nice mix of blur blend of something. And I'm going to put that right down there. I'm going to prime this, of course. 
on my hand first. All right. Now, I don't know what I'm doing, but I thought it would be cool to try to get the green here. We are going to wipe this stamp off on the bottom where I just put that green. Okay, and then we're going to grab the red and go along the top. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. If it works, and if you will, now I'll stuff it. Oh, it went to me. Oh, that's so bad. It's kind of cute. I'm feeling it. Okay. So that was fun. Something new. All right, so that's our actual meal prep. The only thing that I think that it needs is maybe a thin line of separation right here. So I don't know if I, I have some green washi tape out. Let's see, is this something I wanna put there? It's super like bright green, it's not matte like the other. Oh, I can dig it. I can dig it. about the loud noise my neighbor has a muscle car all right there we go very good yes that's so thinking cute all right I think, I think I would like to do is I would like to give it more of a pop of watermelon here in the back so my theme can be cohesive throughout here and we'll stop it right here and we'll stop it right here okay we'll grab this and put it along the bottom So this is our completed spread with our grocery list here and lovely meals for the week of August 8th through the 12th and my bonus son will be here tonight and I'm super happy to see him and all of our meals reflect that for him. It's kid friendly. So this will be a kid friendly meal prep. If you enjoyed this meal plan video, give me a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Otherwise. Have a great and productive week. Ciao, Bella.